All right, so now we're going to do the actual shape of the boat. We've got dimensions laid out on the foam, starting with the bow, which is left two inches wide to make sure we don't have a pointy end that will get smashed and broken and dented in the foam, because a sharp edge in foam doesn't stand up very well. So there's our two inches for the bow. So we're going to take our pipe that we use to set the shape of the boat and our gravity clamps, a couple bricks. Set the pipe so that when you look straight down past the edge of it, you can just see the mark down there on the foam. And here in the middle of the boat is where our 28 inch dimension is found. Have our bricks set so that the mark is visible. going to have to just align it so that when you're looking at the outside of the pipe, you have, like I said, a straight sight down onto that mark. And then here at the stern, and this is where, of course, it always gets interesting because now you're making the pipe bend, you have your mark that you made for the stern, and you use your gravity clamps again. Like I said, bricks, paint cans, anything like that works good. So now I can see right where it goes off the foam, if I look straight down, I can see my mark past those bricks. Here in the middle, see, I line the bricks up, so I can see my marks. Now I'll take my pencil, a pen or marker, whatever you're using, and try and see how well the other marks along this work because really you only need three you need your maximum width you need your bow and your stern and really this will make a nice perfect curve whereas if your marks are off a little you might get this kind of thing on the sides of the boat so looking at it see right there we can see our mark and if you look close you can kind of see it there and then as we follow along the pipe as we look straight down here in the middle, it's actually pushed in just a hair, but there we can see the mark right there. And then we follow it along to the stern, and the same thing, we can see our mark right where the, the uh, pipe goes off. If the light was better, you could see it better, but that's, that's the idea of what you're doing. Then you want to hold the pencil so it's completely vertical as you do your tracing and you'll just basically do a line straight along like this and that will give you the shape of your bottom of your boat the reason you want to use marks is so you know that both sides of the boat are the same after we cut it out and we have it all kind of shaped the way we want we take it again and we measure from the center line again and make sure that we don't have one side more curved than the other. That right there is the idea of how you make your shapes like that.